What's going on guys? Chase Daniel here. This is the Chase Daniel Show and we are going to dive deeper into college quarterbacks and today we are going to break down J.J. McCarthy. In my opinion, one of the unknowns of the draft, but as of late there's been a lot of talk about him moving up draft boards. I thought he had an okay combine. Look, when the ball comes out of his hand, it jumps. The arm strength is there. The uh, ability to escape the pocket is there. He just wasn't asked to do a lot of things at the University of Michigan. Uh, so it's going to be an interesting take on what teams really think about him and why exactly is he moving up draft boards. You look at teams like the Vikings are going to need a quarterback. The Broncos are going to need a quarterback. The Raiders are going to need a quarterback. All this plays into it and the fit. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to break down some game film and give you my insights on him coming up in the April 2024 NFL Draft. All right, guys, J.J. McCarthy. A lot of intrigue about him as of late. Like I said earlier, I thought the combine was good. This, not so much. This dude's wide open right here. All right, you got to take it. This was the first play of the game. They're just running a little sprint out, and I don't know how this wasn't intercepted. It should have been. You literally can't start the game like that if you uh, want to be successful. And um, all they're doing right here is a classic college, hey, a pick, and then go to the corner, a little five-yard speed cut. We call it an Omaha, and an over out. This is a very interesting and not unique combination that NFL players run all the time okay it's just an easy sprint out to the right you got to be able to um, throw this and I like the fact that there's really just looking this way to try and get uh, these defenders this way and I broke down this Alabama game because I want people to understand this is against a top tier defense I think he ended up throwing three touchdowns this game played really well but his eyes, that's the biggest thing I have an issue with his eyes. Look, he's looking right here to number one, which is this Omaha. He actually gets tries to go back to this corner. This over route doesn't get there. The timing in college is not great. You just have to stick and pick. Okay, that's fine. And he ends up probably getting lucky to not throw an interception. He has also had two balls batted down at the line of scrimmage. But this is play one. This is why you run a sprint out on play one. You want to get an easy completion. Just take it right there. I understand the issues, but this is an easy throw and catch, something that Harbaugh dreamt up for him, and it's just not there. And then this is one thing, as an NFL player, you cannot do. Put the ball in harm's way. There's a dude right there. I don't think he's trying to throw it away. I really think he's trying to throw it to this guy right here. Just an overall bad play to start. Uh, and as you can see, he gets better as the game goes on, but I have no clue how this was not an interception. Let's see it right here. This is super college, the clap. Okay, you're trying to fake clap. You're trying to do everything you can. Okay, right here, they're bringing this backer or this uh, running back across to block. It's just Q8 sprint. He's off it right there. Look at his eyes. His eyes should be right there to that out route. He's already getting back to this over route, which is a tight end. He's not even close to over there. So he sort of panics a little bit right here and puts the ball in harm's way and i guess his toe was on the white i don't know i didn't really uh remember this but i do know this was not an interception all right next play we got 11 plays to get through right here all right empty this is where i thought he was good and this is look this is third and long i mean is this not a college play like call at all you have this short motion to where you're going to crack this d in and you have guys pulling around look third and long I don't know if they don't trust him to throw the football or what's happening on third down, but you know you're going to get this shell coverage look right here. And this is something that I did a bunch of research on. J.J. McCarthy ranked 66th in the um, NFL, or sorry, in college in terms of passing attempts on third down. That ranks in the bottom half of all FBS schools on pass attempts on third down. They just didn't have them do it. And so I think that's the biggest issue with uh, this guy is that if you don't have something, um, you know, that's going on, I don't understand. Like, I just, I don't get it. Like, you have to be able 
to throw the ball on third down in the NFL. Now, I, I put this on here because they get to third, fourth and one, and he ends up uh, you know, making it. But I do like the fact that he's athletic. Uh, he's covering up the football, all that stuff. Just thought this was an interesting call on third and long. It gets them fourth and one, and they ended up getting it. All right, 7 nothing Alabama right here. The one thing I do like about this Michigan offense, however, is that they do run – a pretty pro style offense. I know he's not under center a ton. There's some slot pass game that will show um, later uh, in this video, but I do like he actually does operate at the line of scrimmage. He has all the physical tools. He has a really live arm. It's just the experience factor. He could benefit from staying an extra year uh, and sitting. Okay, this is awesome. This is what you want when stuff's not there. And I think what they're trying to do is, um, like, they're pulling a guard. They're running this clear out, okay? And they're trying to run this deep cross. We talk about it a lot here on the channel. So this, this clear out could be a throw. You want to throw this uh, through route right here versus man. I like the play action. I like the pistol. It's all stuff that's coming to the NFL, okay? But when you have this coverage and everyone's waiting on you, it's like a version of man this deep cross right here should be underneath these two, but this is what happens all the time in college. Stuff's not there. His protection all year was pretty pretty good, and I thought that for the most part throughout the year, this is one of the few games I watched, that he was really good going to his left. This is a tough throw. You're running full speed at the line of scrimmage. You're able to make this Eni overthrow and protect him from this safety that's coming off right here as well. So I thought this was a good throw. Let's see it from the back view. I do like this little pistol play action where you're turning your back and he's trying to hit this deep cross. Let's check out his footwork right here. Okay, good play fake. Okay, good base, good eyes, everything. This is what I think teams like is that, hey, when stuff's not open, you have to be able in this day and age in the NFL to make things happen with your legs. So you're moving out, you're going across, Everything happens, okay, especially to the left. Not a lot of guys can do this to your left. Okay, look how quick he is. He's outrunning Alabama potentially first-round picks. That's something that a lot of people don't understand is his athleticism is really showing in a bunch of his film, and I think that's what gets teams excited. These type of throws gets teams excited. Really good throw and catch there by J.J. and quite possibly his biggest game uh, of his career to date. All right, here you go. This is, uh, I think, one of his touchdowns right here, and this is such an NFL type type uh, concept. It's wide open. I get it, but uh, it, it's just all clearing out. Okay, they're in man coverage. You're gonna take this halfback. You're gonna leak him through the A or B gap on the left side. He's called a halfback burst. You're bursting to the field. Okay, this is a man beater. If not, he would have the ability. JJ would have the ability to get out of the play and not man. It's man. He knows it by the short motion. So it's just one to two, easy walk in. I know that, but I do like his feet right here. Like really good balance, really good eyes. This is where you wanna start. Look at all this mucky muck as coaches like to call it in there. Really good job by our guy number two going. And then honestly, he would have had a touchdown to the shallow cross as well. Great play call, great throw. And most importantly, yeah, this is an easy throw. But if you don't lead them, like this, and you don't put it right on them with this back floating up to the field, it's an issue. Sometimes these throws are the hardest, that they're the most wide open. Nice touchdown right there. Let's see it from the back view. <clears throat> really good feet. Uh, you can tell, too, here, he's he's pretty close. You think something's coming up this way? I do, absolutely. All right, let's see it. He knows he's got man. This is a cerebral quarterback, really good throw. He's throwing it early. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because it's an easy throw, but it's right on his body. That's what you want to do. Don't make him uh, <clears throat> not run. And then you got Pat McAfee right here. It's hard to see. He's super pumped about it. Look at this. This guy right here, Darius Butler, A.J. Hawk, all those guys. Love that. Next play. Getting to empty. This is play 15 of the game. Second down right here. See what the route concept is. All right, it's just double stick. So I put this on here for a reason. First of all, uh, like he's got the wrong split. He needs to be out here. Okay, so it's a clear out. If he has his right split, it's just 
two stick routes, okay? You call these Omaha routes, stick routes, whatever. This second stick right here has to stay on the move. This stick can sit versus zone, run versus man, all right? So JJ should be reading this outside in. So outside in is what we call it, this read. I want you to watch JJ's eyes. This is also another out route right here, but he's, he's choosing this side. I like the fact that he chooses this side. He's got leverage right here, and this is a quarters, tight quarters look with a clear out. This is the throw. Watch JJ's eyes right here. He finally gets to it. Okay, his eyes are inside, and it 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 that is not what you want. And coaches always coach it outside in. Look, he's a he's a kid, he makes mistakes, but I want to be critical of him because this is what is going to change teams' minds if he can say, Hey, why did you read this inside out versus outside in? And I heard he was really good in meetings. I heard he was really good on the board, but still gets to it. Still shows that arm strength to throw cross field. Obviously, hashes are a lot wider in college. But for him to be able to make this throw uh, by not reading it right just shows a little bit of the athletic ability and the, uh, the arm strength, in my opinion. Let's watch his eyes right here. Okay. So what he's doing right here, he's just sitting right here. He's sitting on the inside. These linebackers for Alabama were really good. They're like NFL linebackers. This is what's going to happen in the NFL. You got to trust the process. You got to throw outside in. He knows it. He ends up making it, but it, you really don't want to go inside out on that play. Okay, just a little bit of information for you guys. Trips Bunch, love this formation. This is what Michigan did a lot of. It, it promoted a lot of off coverage. Thought the game plan really all game long was pretty good by Michigan. <clears throat> this play is sweet right here. Like, talk about a tight window throw right here. All right, so they're doing this crazy, like, this is a shallow cross. We called a Gronk route. Rob Gronkowski made it popular. It's like 8 to 10 yards, okay? And then you have this deeper cross, and then you have this post, and then you have this swing route. A lot of stuff going on. They're play faking this toss. Watch it right here. Okay, this toss play fake. They're also pulling a guard. This pulling guard helps pull this mic out, and there's a small window, between these four guys right here that he's able to hit a throw like this will get NFL's scouts attention watch his back foot after he play fakes right there balls out he's got a little bit of a long uh stride he's got a little bit of a long release but look at this throw between these three guys plus the ref as well amazing throw amazing catch these are the tight window throws I want to see him do on third down. This is second and long. This is a better view of it. Okay, they're going to bring this guy. They're going to swing him around. They're going to pull the guard. Uh, they're going to fake the toss. And then 18 is just going to go. And you're going to see here this ref's right in the way. But I just love JJ's footwork right here. He stays balanced. He's got a good base about him right here. Look at him already starting to throw the football. The guy's looking. Okay, there's three guys right here that you have to be in between plus the ref. Thought this was a really good throw. Ref, get out of the way. He holds him up right there. These are the throws that I want to see more of on third down. He gets a little bit outside of his um, uh, step right here of his footwork, but he ends up really good throw against a top flight defense, in my opinion. Next play right here. First and 10. Trips bunch formation right here. This is another thing, too, in this formation. Oh. In this uh, game, Alabama played a lot of NFL-style defenses. So this is a 3-4. They switched it up. He was able to get into the right plays at the right time and talk about a trick play. Okay, so <laughs> this is awesome. I had to put this on there to show you guys. Just the, really the athleticism, the courage, the confidence this guy has. So you're going to pass it. You're going to throw it back to the halfback. You're going to toss it to the halfback. The halfback's then going to toss it to you. But when you don't have an edge, and this guy is scot-free right here, like, first of all, this guy's scot-free. Second of all, one-handed catch. Watch this. Okay. Third of all, you're spinning, going to your left, throwing an absolute dime? Like, come on now. This is awesome. Like, the athleticism is there. A lot of people didn't give him credit for how athletic he was. Okay, but you're, you're doing that. You're throwing a shallow cross. And we're going to see this from the back view because I think the back views are better. But, like, look at this right here. This is awesome. Such an amazing throw. The trickery's there. He makes a, a play 
work that otherwise shouldn't. So he's got a shallow cross right there. Horrible throw. One-handed catch. Look at that. Look at that one-handed catch. Like, that's wild to me. And he's able to get his feet set, lofts it up, sees no one out there, throws a perfect throw to number one, which he should have stayed in bounds, but just another amazing play um, by J.J. All right, motion over to three by one. This is what teams do. Two by two to three by one. It's a very NFL friendly offense, obviously, with the ties of Harbaugh, who's now with the Chargers. Let's see what they do in here, right? One, two, three, hitch, hitch, ball. Okay, they're running some type of mesh route. So it's a flutie. Flutie, what's flutie, Chase? Well, a flutie is a corner route in a post, NFL, total style offense right here. And they're running a mesh route right here. So in zone, you're going to read the corner as one. Then you're going to read the shallow as two. Then this shallow is three. So let's see his, his uh, footwork right here. He looks like he's looking at there, understands 13, the nickel fell off, okay? And then this shallow isn't over there, so he's just going to get back to his third read really quickly, easily, understands that in this back, in halfback, it's a burst and a shallow that this guy's not going to have him. He's going to run with him because it's a single high zone, mannish type look underneath. It's exactly what it does. And once again, I mean, this is an amazing run after catch, but I want to make aware the ball placement. This is everything that scouts look for. And this is what I think a lot of teams are starting to realize about JJ. Hey, he might be the third or fourth quarterback in the draft. Like, look how early he's throwing this ball. His feet are this way. Everything's telling him, hey, you know what? Got pocket issues right here. He's able to throw this ball perfect right on his body. Exactly what you want. Really good uh, drop as well. Right here, shallow cross. It's not a sexy completion, but it is a touchdown. And I think that's what NFL scouts like about him. He just goes through his progressions. He's really uh, mature sort of beyond his years and from the experience factor. All right, here you go, trips bunch. This is a third and 10. This is not so good. And this is why I put it on him. Okay, so in shallow crosses on third and 10, they're running a drive concept with a clear out. So the inside guys, the post clear out. You have a basic cross route and you have a shallow route. So you're just reading one to the shallow, two to the basic. This post can sometimes be alerted in quarters, but he should have a huge play here. They end up punting because the ball is so far behind him. Okay. The line of scrimmage to gain is here. It's fourth and one. They don't end up going for it. They end up punting and it's because of a bad throw by JJ. So we showed one good shallow cross and then we show another bad shallow cross right here. He's open. There's a lot of stuff going on. Okay. If he puts this out in front, which is way behind him. Okay. That's hard for a receiver to do. If he puts it out front, he's off to the races with this safety. They're not punting. So just a bad throw a little bit behind him. Um, and as he's getting hit, I get it, but they do end up punting there. It's fourth down. All right. Fourth and two right here. Thought this play was awesome. It's the exact same play, I believe, that they ran for a touchdown. Alabama could not stop it. Okay, you get four to a side. I love the last-minute move over to the uh, right side. They should zone this off. Alabama did not have an answer for it, and this is a, the biggest play in the game because if they don't get this, there's a really high likelihood that they're not winning the game. Another great throw. It's accurate. It has to be to Blake Corum. Right there, trips bunch. Look at a last minute move over so you can't get it. He's trying to get this linebacker's trying to get, hey, we got to zone it off. We got to zone it off. Not so much. Doesn't happen. Wide open. Really good. And then the last play right here is this two by two. I thought this was awesome. It's 20 to 13. There's a minute 34 left. You got to have a touchdown. We used to run this play all the time. Okay. You're bringing this guy. This is the Chiefs type. type play in the NFL you fake it to him this is a bootleg and it's either throw or run they're getting him on the run no bigger throw in a game than this one right here perfect to him and what a come from behind win in overtime for the Wolverines I like this guy I think he can play it's going to be interesting to see what other NFL teams think